2015, get ready to say goodbye to Katniss and hello again to the Terminator. I've been waiting for you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anticipated movies of 2015. For this list, we're taking a look at movies that are scheduled to come out in 2015 that the world can't wait to see based on the talent involved, previous installments, and of course, the trailers. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Number 10. Inside Out. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Did you guys pick up on that? The folks at Pixar have distinguished themselves as some of the most inventive storytellers of all time. While their recent outings have mostly been sequels and prequels, Inside Out offers an entirely original concept, venturing into a young girl's colorful mind. <sighs> Sir, she just rolled her eyes at us. All right, make a show of force. I don't want to have to put the foot down. No. Not the foot. Her brain's control center is made up of Amy Poehler as Joy, Louis Black as Anger, Mindy Kaling as Disgust, Phyllis Smith as Sadness, and Bill Hader as Fear. <coughs> With Peter Doctor of Up acting as the director, Inside Out is sure to be another extremely emotional animated feature. Fire! That's it. Go to your room. The foot is down. The foot is down! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Good job, gentlemen. That could have been a disaster. Well, that was a disaster. Number 9. Fifty Shades of Grey. Mr. Grey will see you now. Chances are you either consider E.L. James' bestseller the sexiest erotic novel ever written, or the most unintentionally hilarious. There's really not much to know about me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I am. In any case, Sam Taylor Johnson's film adaptation starring Jamie Dornan as the dominant Christian Grey and Dakota Johnson as a sexually repressed woman finally being awoken looks pretty hot. Lighten me then. Coming out just in time for Valentine's Day, Fifty Shades of Grey should leave couples more than satisfied. Let's just hope the film doesn't have a ton of voiceover narration describing the graphic sexual ventures. Newton. Yeah. Number eight, Tomorrowland. Baseball cap, one pin, one pack of demon's gum, and uh, whatever that is. Disney theme park attractions already have the essence of living movies, making a realm like Tomorrowland ideal for the cinema. It's not mine. What's not yours? The pin. I've never. <laughs> Much of the movie's plot and set pieces have been kept under wraps, but that only adds to the mysterious buildup and increases our eagerness to see the final product. No way. Featuring big names like George Clooney, Hugh Laurie, and director Brad Bird, the mystery flick could have Disney potentially concocting their most unique live-action sci-fi adventure since the likes of Tron and Flight of the Navigator. You want to go? Tomorrow can't come soon enough. My world is fire and blood. Number 7. Mad Max Fury Road. The world is almost out of water. Water. Water wars. We are killing for gasoline. It's been 30 long years since Max Rokitansky walked off into the sunset. In Mad Max Fury Road, visionary director George Miller returns for another over-the-top escapade of car chases, stunts, and explosions. Surprisingly, Mel Gibson will not be returning as the Wandering Road Warrior. Regardless, Tom Hardy looks like he's more than up to the task of usurping this iconic role. Taking advantage of modern technology, Fury Road could be the most kick-ass Mad Max film yet. The movie had better be rated R, though. Number 6. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 I never wanted any of this. I never wanted to be in the games. I just wanted to save my sister. 
While The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 was solid, we all know it was just the calm before the storm. Mockingjay Part 2 is the rousing final chapter we've really been waiting for. You will rescue PETA at the earliest opportunity, or you will find another Mockingjay. Now that Katniss has officially accepted her role as the Mockingjay, we're ready to charge into battle with her and take down President Snow. It's the things we love most that destroy us. Whether you've read the books or not, there isn't a Hunger Games fan who isn't excited to see if director Francis Lawrence hits a bullseye. I want everyone who's watching to lay down their weapons now. You're alive. Number five, Spectre. Who doesn't appreciate the occasional twists, Mr. Bond, James Bond. In Skyfall, Daniel Craig and director Sam Mendes treated audiences to the riskiest, coolest, and most character-driven James Bond movie in some time. Where the hell have you been? Enjoying death. 007 reporting for duty. With both back in action for Mr. Bond's 24th adventure, Spectre should be another point-blank hit. On top of the returning talent, it feels like Christoph Waltz's entire career has been building up to him playing a Bond villain. If you insist. We couldn't be more pumped to see Craig and Waltz go head-to-head -head in a story that promises action, mystery, and, of course, Spectre's highly awaited return. Spectre? Spectre. Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, Extortion. The four great cornerstones of power, headed by the greatest brains in the world. Correction. Criminal brains. The successful criminal brain is always superior. Number four, The Hateful Eight. Uh, yes, we are going to be doing The Hateful Eight. Yeah. The mere mention of Quentin Tarantino's name is more than enough to make any film buff enthusiastic. That's accurate. Although Tarantino's latest film suffered a couple of hiccups after a script leak, it's great to see that The Hateful Eight is finally being made. Hooray, Doctor! Hooray! And a wise decision that is. Since 2012's Django Unchained was the director's biggest box office success ever and scored him another Oscar, this Western has much to live up to. Tarantino hasn't let us down yet, though, and it's doubtful he will now, especially since The Hateful Eight might be his last picture. I like the way you die, boy. Number three, Jurassic World. A whole new frontier has opened up. We have our first genetically modified hybrid. After the letdown that was Jurassic Park 3, a lot of people weren't looking forward to Jurassic Park 4. Probably not a good idea. That skepticism immediately faded away when the trailer for Jurassic World hit. Gyrospheres, a new genetically engineered dinosaur, and Chris Pratt riding a motorcycle alongside velociraptors? Holy shit. <laughs> Poised to be as big as ever, this might be the Jurassic Park sequel that finally gets it just right. But does anyone else find it odd that scientists managed to clone dinosaurs before they perfected the smartphone in this universe? She will kill anything that moves. Oh God. Run. I'm gonna show you something beautiful. Number two, Avengers Age of Ultron. You're all puppets. Tangled in strings. Strings. You'd think after 10 films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this franchise would have officially worn out its welcome. Nothing lasts forever. If 2014 proved anything, though, it's that Marvel movies are not becoming any less fresh or exhilarating. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. With James Spader providing the voice of Ultron, Tony Stark suiting up in his most extravagant Iron Man ensemble to date, and heroes like Captain America and Black Widow peaking in their popularity, we trust Joss Whedon to hit it out of the park again in this sequel to The Avengers. There are no 
strings on me. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You shall not go to the ball. <laughs> I'm okay to continue. Number one, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Even in a year that includes the final Hunger Games and the second Avengers, was there ever any doubt Star Wars Episode Seven would conquer this list? When people think of epic movie-going experiences, Star Wars is usually the first blockbuster that comes to mind. <laughs> While the prequel trilogy was less than stellar, The Force Awakens presents a new hope for the franchise with a darker tone and the characters we all love making their anticipated return. I love you. I know. Throw in J.J. Abrams as director, and how can Disney go wrong? Do you agree with our list? What movie are you most psyched to see in 2015? Are we going to stand around here all day, or are we going to fight? Sorry about that. Needed to let off a little steam. For more awesome top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Okay.